What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is Professor Anime. Welcome back to yet again another video and another review for Boruto Naruto Next Generations. So episode 9 is out and it is titled One's True Self. That is the episode title of this week. One's True Self. And basically more or less I mean the title pretty much shows what the episode is about. Just Boruto trying to show who he truly is and he wants to actually prove himself that he does in fact have a special ability that could prove very very useful to his father in the investigation however the thing is that boruto needs to undergo a test just to make sure if he does in fact have the byakugan or not and that is when we see from you know last week's episode that naruto brought boruto over to the Hyuga clan's home or you know Hinata's uh, father's home you know and we would have actually seen a battle between Hazashi and Boruto actually play out which was going to be you know the, the, the real real spotlight of you know last week's episode you know, that's what I was really looking forward to for this week's but Sadly, we get uh, a battle between Hanabi and Boruto. Now, I'm not going to complain because, honestly, when it comes down to Hanabi and also Hizashi, you know, they are two characters that hardly get any screen time. So, one of them is fine, but I would just really love to actually have seen, uh, you know, Hizashi actually get some screen time because that would have been sick. But kind of what Hanabi states to her father is something that the viewer could already take into consideration what would happen and that would be that Hizashi would fucking destroy Boruto. And of course we see Hanabi actually battling it out with Boruto. Boruto doesn't really pick up an interesting fight honestly. Um, Hanabi really didn't either. She kind of was just wiping the floor with him not particularly injuring him to the point in which he you know faints or whatnot but just you know out of exhaustion <laughs> basically and Hanabi technically stated to Boruto that by now your Byakugan would have activated because you would have been able to predict my movements. That is the key of the Byakugan. The Byakugan can depict, you know, any sort of movement, you know, from your opponent, like a mile ahead before, you know, they're even thinking of it, so to speak, because it can basically see through all sort of areas, um, in which uh, you have an opening to your body, and that's what makes the Byakugan so special. However, when it comes down to Boruto, Boruto doesn't have that. He has the Tensei Gun. However, he doesn't really know what that eye is. Others don't know what that eye is for right now, but once he figures out what kind of eye that is, yo, he is going to be even more happier than a kid on Christmas Day. And of course, at the end of this episode, we get a boring, uninteresting fight uh, that partakes with Boruto Sarada and also uh, Kamasuke, I believe his name was, which is basically the actor um, that Boruto saw in the movie that he really liked or whatever. And the reason behind uh, this movie actually, uh, or uh, the sequel actually getting canceled was because of the fact that Kamasuke actually went and fucking lost himself in food he became obese and that is in like it, like the ending of this episode had some like really cringy ass dialogue like boruto said you always told me to believe in you you know to believe in you is to believe in me or something like that and <laughs> we have kamasuke just saying uh to boruto you know as a rebuttal back adam he says yeah that's right Believe in me. Believe in me that I will lose the weight for the next movie, you know, in time for the next movie. And I'm just like, you know, these dialogues, you know, they're just, they're bad. The battle itself wasn't interesting whatsoever either. I mean, it was just kind of like, it almost seemed as though this fight was just thrown in to add in time, necessarily. I mean, what was kind of surprising, though, was, you know, just how this whole fight ended up going about in the first place and how Kamasuke actually looked like he actually wanted to kill Boruto for calling him a fatty you know he fucking throwing pipes at him and shit almost fucking you know <laughs> going right through his body almost but still regardless like it, it just felt like honestly this portion of the episode was kind of needless I know what they're trying to do you know 
with Boruto, they're trying to build up, you know, this sort of big thing that's going to pay off with who is possessing people down in the village, because that's what happened. That's the, the guy ended up getting possessed by that shadowy figure that has been possessing others in the Hidden Leaf Village as well. And I know what they're trying to do here. I mean, they're trying to build up that you know, big moment into which there is going to be that big reveal on who the true villain is, but the thing is, will it actually pay off in the very end? Because this is technically only, like, what, the first villain that we are getting out of the Naruto series, and usually how the Naruto verse goes, usually villains, you know, can either be really, really good or really, really bad. You know, there's a whole list of bad villains with the Naruto, but there's also a couple of good ones. Is the first villain in this, you know, Boruto verse going to actually be interesting? You know, is Toneri actually going to pop up anytime soon? Will more get explained on how exactly Boruto got the Byakugan, or excuse me, <laughs> the Byakugan, how he got the Tensei Gon from Toneri? Because that's technically what the dream was implying, that Toneri Otsutsuki actually gave Boruto the Tensei Gon, somehow and in some way. But yeah, I mean, in the next episode of Boruto, it seems as though the investigation is finally going to begin. I thought, honestly, the investigation was already, you know, you know, beginning when it came down to tracking down who exactly, you know, this shadowy figure who is possessing everyone in the villages. I mean, Naruto and Shikamaru himself have technically been, I guess, you know been doing some investigation undercover and whatnot, just, you know, underlying stuff and whatnot, but now I guess the real investigation begins into which, you know, there's going to be multiple people that are going to help during this process, and of course, Boruto is going to get in the way of this, which could end up costing his life, you know, how this shit you know, you know, ends up going about, he's going to get in a very dangerous situation, and people are probably going to rescue him as well, but at the same time, he's probably going to unlock the Tensei Gon at this point, and everyone will find out what exactly that is, and Boruto can be very, very useful to future investigations and such. So, I mean, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see and see what we get in the next episode of Boruto and what's going to happen, but uh, my biggest question is, though, I don't know if anybody else noticed this, but... One, it does look like we are going to actually see Sai in Boruto uh, in the next episode, which is pretty cool. But my biggest question is, though, it looks like there is actually some connections that are going on between Donzo. Remember Donzo in you know the original uh, Naruto, ba back when Naruto Shippuden? You see Donzo in the preview, so he has some connections about him. When it comes down to next week's episode. Um, so that's very interesting. So we're going to see a little bit of him. I mean, obviously he is dead if you have seen the original Naruto uh, Shibuden. But it does seem as though Donzo has some connections to you know what we can see in the next episode of Boruto. So that's kind of interesting. I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on what you guys thought about this episode of Boruto. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Uh, did you think it was boring? Uh, me personally, it was meh. I mean, it was meh. Nothing too much went on, but hopefully next episode will make up for that. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching. Love you all. Catch you all in the next one.